everyone and welcome back to my channel i am antoinette from simply at chic today's video is part of my craft your stash spring and easter diy challenge that i host seasonally so if you are participating in the challenge today make sure to add your video to the playlist that is linked down in the description box below and if you are not participating make sure to check out the playlist and hopefully be inspired for this project i am using one moss wreath that i got from dollar tree i had this wood box on hand and i am saving the lid for next project i am only using the box as a base for the egg also i am going to use some of the grape vines out of this wreath that i thrifted long time ago for half of and i am using these stems and some greenery i will leave all the materials i use in today's projects down in the description box below in case you are interested so at first i am gonna go ahead and play with this wreath squeeze it a little bit to firm it to an egg shape and once i like the shape i take some floral wire and wrap it all around to help me weave the vines into it Then I start tearing apart this grapevine wreath and I play with it, wrap it around the moss wreath however I can and secure the ends by weaving them into the floral wire. And I add a dab of hot glue if I need it. Then I continue doing same thing while I wrap any stems or greenery. I also decided to wrap this berry garland that I had from Christmas time. Now it's time to add some eggs and I am just gonna use what I already have on hand. So I am gonna play with them, hot glue them down like you see me doing. And here how it turned out, I really love it and I hope that you will like it too. Today I am also excited to be competing in Heidi Sumble's final round of the Creative Champion Contest with my sweet talented friend Annalie. I am super grateful for everyone who voted for me. I truly appreciate your awesome support. Now for this final round, here are my three projects I entered in. And if you want to see how I made these projects, head over to Heidi's video. It's linked down in my description box below. They are my entry for this contest and that's what you will be voting on voting will end on sunday at midnight so i hope that you will continue voting for me to win the contest also there will be a hub for all the creators that are participating today the next person in the hub is linked down below just like we do every friend friday next project was super simple and it turned out super cute i thrifted this wood garden fence long time ago for half of now i am gonna try to remove these bird houses and save them for a future project i will also remove this green part as well then i'm gonna take some sandpaper and sand the fence to smooth that surface out then i will go ahead and paint it with some white chalk paint And on this part, I just dry brush it with some white as well, but I still want the green part to show through. And once they are dry, I am just gonna do some dry brushing with brown. Then I'm gonna use these Dollar Tree alphabet letters to make garden sign. 
Now it's time to decorate this fence, so I am gonna hot glue this sign on this side. Also, I am adding this terracotta pot right here, but first I fill it with some faux plants. Now I am gonna hot glue the fence on this wood lid box that I saved from the previous project. And then on this side I am adding this cute watering can from Dollar Tree. I also picked up these garden decorations from Dollar Tree and I think they look so cute. Moving to this project, I already had these three-piece brass wreath rings from Dollar Tree and I am using the medium size. This Easter headband was from Dollarama and I will be using some of these leftover flowers. Also I am using some of this burlap ribbon. So here I am gonna go ahead and cut the ends of this headband then I am gonna trim the plastic band that is inside then I'm gonna remove this pink sparkly part and replace it with some burlap ribbon like you see me doing And once I finish that, I cut out the excess fur on each side. Then I hot glue this on the ring. I also hot glue the extra piece of fur at the bottom for extra support. Then I take some floral wire and wrap it around to keep it in place. Then I bring the greenery and the flowers, I play with them, move them around a little bit until I love how they look. Then I start weaving them into the floral wire just like how I did in the previous project. I also use a dab of hot glue every here and there. Lastly, I decided to add a tail to my bunny, so I took this extra piece of fur and I inserted the pink part that I removed from the headband. Then I hot glue it together and firm it like a circle. Then I hot glue it on the bottom of the wreath like this. And I really love how cute it came out. Thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed these projects and i hope you found some of these ideas helpful please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite project in today's video make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when i upload my next one and until then be well and have fun